New project coming to the other side of the river might save lives along a deadly, deadly section of I-10. Our Elise Corville explains how this will work. Elise. It's a warning system. The system will warn motorists of upcoming traffic jams and changes to speed, adding just that extra layer of protection to hopefully cut down on the number of those crashes. We're all aware by now. Part of I-10 East is closed after a crash at LA-415 near Lobdell. We've learned more about the nine vehicle collision on I-10 yesterday that shut down part of the interstate. Anything we can to bring attention to this particular area because we do see heavy backups, heavy congestion. I mean, there's no way around it. It's the most congested area in the state. He's talking about the I-10, I-110 split, but a new warning system is on the way. The goal is to improve driver safety and ease those everyday traffic frustrations. For this particular project, uh, we're going to have a dynamic message board sign put up at LA-77 right near the gross tet. Uh, on and off ramp and so uh, you know we have that sign we have flashing lights we have a dms sign i think it's right before la 415. the project costing an estimated eight million dollars will track vehicle speeds as they approach here's how it's going to work if the camera and radar system recognizes a vehicle is slowing down or stopping it activates to warn oncoming drivers to prepare for a slowdown traffic has always been an issue within this parish especially on i-10 um, Daily, we have congestion that backs up, sometimes the gross tape. The West Baton Rouge Parish Sheriff spokesperson says it's a daily problem. We do receive lots of calls, uh, whether it be stranded motorists or, or crap people involved in crashes. Um, but we do respond to those, and unfortunately, some of those are fatalities. And most of that goes back to distracted drivers. Uh, whether it's on the cell phone or talk, you know, talking to other parties or family in the car. We just ask that everyone pay attention, give yourself some driving space, driving time. The sheriff's team says they are eager to get this system up and running. Anything safety related that will help motorists save some lives, I think it's a great idea, and I applaud them for doing that. And a time frame for the warning system would not be determined until a meeting held next month. All right, Elise, thank you for that. Appreciate it. So early